So what we are going to talk about now is, the, is some of the ways that these laws work. If you understand, a lot of the manifesting um, workshops or movies or whatever that you see, like The Secret or Beyond the Secret, they talked about how to manifest your destiny. And what they tell you is you need to see a clear picture of what you want and you need to feel really good about it. Right? That's what 90% of the manifesting programs talk about. Look at it, be clear about what it is, feel good about it. And they don't ever tell you that if your desire and your belief are incongruent, you will always, always, always manifest what you believe, never what you desire, even if you feel good about it. So we got to look at the foundational problem of what we believe. Because if your desire differs from what your core belief systems are, you will always manifest what you believe and not what you desire. And when your desires and beliefs are congruent, you simply do have infinite possibilities and you can manifest at the speed of thought. But we never, we go through this process of desire, 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 feel good, feel good, feel good, and we never question whether or not we're putting ourselves in an opposing force paradox. Is our belief incongruent with what we desire? Do I believe differently? No, we just, and then all of us, 90% of us, get frustrated and suffer because it doesn't work. Well, we haven't released an old belief system in order for our desires and our beliefs to be congruent, so it's, we fail all the time. And then we feel bad about failing all the time because am I not doing it right? I'm desiring, desiring, I'm desiring. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, and nothing's happened. Well, we can shift that. Okay? And what we call that when you do that, when your desire is different than your belief, when your desire is different than your belief, we call that an opposing force paradox. Because when your desire is different than your belief, what you do is you create a story to support your desire rather than your addressing your belief. Because if you were simply to address your belief, you would be suffering all the time. Does that make sense? So we create these stories which put us in an imposing force paradox because our desires and our beliefs are different and we always just stay in our story. And an example of that, do you want to do it? I want 10% of all money you make from I'll do here mine then. Forward. I'll do mine, I'll do mine. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> this is one of Rudy's aha moments, so it's kind of fun. So, about three weeks ago, was it three Yeah. I'm taking the course, right? And I said, you're so full of crap. <laughs> this is crap. And she That's said... That's true. <laughs> and she said to me, no, no, this is not crap. This is real. And, uh, and so I said, fine, prove it. And she said, why aren't you married? I said, that's not the point. And uh, she said, do you want to get married? And I said, sure. Okay, so you want to get married? Yes. Why aren't you married? Well, all women are the same. <laughs> and she says, I'm done. Have a good day. Are, are you guaranteeing happiness in your life? Or are you guaranteeing unhappiness in your life? I want to be married, but all women are the same. Is that guaranteeing happy or unhappy? <laughs> unhappy. No. We're so. going to get this story straight, just so you know. <laughs> okay. That's not what you said. First of all, he said, I love my career. I am busy doing this. I have to take care of my parents. He gave me the story. And I talked to him long enough that he said, and besides, all women create drama and stress, not just they're the same. Yeah. Because they're the same isn't a necessarily a closing force paradox, because that could be good. Yeah, it exactly. wasn't just that they were the same. It was that they were all the same, and oh, by the way, all the same meant they create drama and they create stress. But the story was, I'm fine. I'm taking care of my parents. I love my job. I'm so busy. I don't have time. And then we kept talking, and he said, and besides, all women cause drama and stress. They're all the same. But all the same isn't necessarily bad unless they cause like, drama and stress. They could be all the same, and they're like, they're beautiful and amazing. and No, no, no. They're drama. The drama. And they're stressful. <laughs> so and anyway, I, can I yeah, you can finish, but you were telling it wrong. That's <laughs> adding <laughs> <laughs> to your drama and stress. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. See, oh, see, see what happens when, when you're when you let yourself on your own without a little coaching. 
you end up making stories about the stories. <laughs> so, yes, you're right. I, I agree. I was wrong. Um, we should have him say that one more time, huh? I was wrong. I've been wrong before, like twice before. <laughs> so, yeah, so what she said was, do you see those that opposing force paradox, and do you see that you've created the story that I was telling in order to justify or reconcile the fact that you've put yourself in a place where you're guaranteed to be unhappy forever? Right? So I've got an opposing point paradox that makes me unhappy forever by design. And in order to reconcile that so I don't shoot myself in the head, because frankly, if I were to say to you, you're going to be unhappy for the rest of your life, what's the point? I'm going to shoot myself in the head now. Right? Get it over with. Right? Just get it over with. Right? So in order to keep myself from shooting myself in the head, I came up with a story that said, I don't have time for a wife. And then she said, now get to that yellow sheet and write the stuff down. <laughs> it was yellow, not pink. <laughs> but do you see how this create this is an opposing force paradox? I can't believe you used that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Most people can see clearly, because it doesn't matter if it's a woman that says, all men suck. All men are pigs. I want to have an effortless, happy relationship. I'll tell you mine. We were sitting in in another uh, another staff meeting and I was we were working on the st my staff being able to do the pink sheets they were yellow at the time so be able to take people through the pink sheets effortlessly to be able to see cause and effect because you understand the story is an effect most people think the story is the cause the story is the effect the cause of the story is this belief this is an effect Oh, I don't have time. I'm, I'm really happy doing this. My parents need my help. I love my job. That's an effect. It's not the cause. So we're going through this with my staff, and we had, there was, I think there were six of us there. And I handed out the yellow sheets to everybody, and I didn't take one. I'm so arrogant sometimes. So I'm sitting there, like in a little queen chair, as my staff is doing these yellow sheets, and I'm just like, I don't need to do a yellow sheet. I'm good. I have no I'm surprised stories. that they didn't call me to the carpet. That one of these people who love me dearly and know my stories didn't didn't say, "You're an idiot. Do a yellow sheet." But I came to it five minutes later. I'm like, "What? What's what's your problem? Do a yellow sheet." So I'm doing the yellow sheet, but I'm looking at the front page and I'm like, "Okay, what do I pick?" And I looked at my belief about being a husband or a wife. I'm like, "Okay, that's a good one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that." And so I turned over the the second page and I wrote, "My belief about being a wife is," and I kind of just stopped. And then my hand just kind of wrote the truth without my mind thinking. And it was that I believe being a wife is unfulfilling work. And I was really blown away. Because I don't do unfulfilling work. My, and my, my desire was to have an effortless fulfilling relationship. Okay? My belief was that not, not marriage, you understand? I don't have an issue with marriage. I love marriage. But... Being a wife is unfulfilling work. I don't do unfulfilling work, ever. So what are the odds that even if I feel really happy and I think really hard to manifest an effortless, fulfilling relationship that that's ever going to show up in my life, ever? Zero. Why? I haven't addressed this. It's not enough for someone to say, think really hard about what you want and feel really good about it. We have to address the opposing force paradoxes in life. Oh, and by the way, my story was, I travel all the time, I have great friends and great family, I'm happy, my family's wonderful, it'll happen. That's the effect. The truth was, I don't do unfulfilling work, and I believe that being a wife was unfulfilling work. Now, through a process that we'll go through later, I can relieve, I can, I've already recognized, now I can redesign, release, recreate, and rehearse this new one, which now makes this possible. I don't really even have to get excited about it because it's just exciting. Because I've just released something that I've held on to for, oh, 15 years. And now I can be here effortlessly. Now I can manifest that at the speed of thought. 